I hope you find yourself just excited to exercise with me because I'm excited to exercise with you. And exhale out. Let's just get a little work in to get the blood going into your muscles, get your mindset focused on you, and getting your workout at home for the day. Hi, it's Frida, and we're gonna do a workout here with this tree. So many times we try to figure out what we can do outdoors. I'll give you a good workout. So want to join me today? Let's start with a warm-up. You want to walk in place And we're here at my Chase place and what a better place to be than outdoors. Let's work it out get your knees higher breathing in and out. As you get those knees higher, we're using bigger muscle groups. Good, and reach those arms in front. Get a little twist in the abdominals. You got it. Let's take the arms higher and slower on your count, your cadence, your tapping. Good. We're gonna use a lot of strength positions today. Again, to burn more calories build a stronger body and again your mindset is to finish to get through it to accept the challenge okay breathing in and breathing out here we go and exhale out breathing in and breathing out breathing in breathing out now I want you to do lunges and when we do lunges we're gonna step forward and keep in alignment, shoulder above your hips. You can alternate the lunges. And when we're outdoors, we're never really gonna have a surface that's gonna be even. So I'm working through an uneven surface. So if you're outdoors, it's okay to have an uneven surface. The reason is because the body's gonna learn to react to that unevenness and be able to adjust. So you're working on balance, coordination. Good job little warm-up bring a twist over the knee twist over the knee twist over the knee twist over the knee Whew. breathing in and out keeping your chest level high Whew. awesome we're gonna do four more right here four and three and you don't have to go so low yet you do a half lunge is fine and one good let's take a breath intake <sighs> nothing like clean fresh breath air good job inhale up and out now we're going to do rear leg lunges same concept but step backwards right leg comes back left leg again notice my posture shoulders above hips breathing in and out you got it Okay, we're gonna bring the arms over the thighs. Again, same twist, just reach higher, bring the arms over, adding more big muscle groups, breathing in and breathing out. Again, half knee lunge, that's fine. You got this. Keep the chest level high. Breathing in and out. You're looking strong there. Good. Four more. Three. I'm glad you're joining me today in this workout next to a tree. But you know, if you're indoors, you could also work out against the wall of your living room. So make sure you have some space, move some furniture, whatever it takes, so you have a flat surface to work with. Can I get four more with you? Four. And three. And two and one good breathing in and out exhale out and in and out so you want to go ahead and go towards the tree or your wall in your home and you're going to do what we call a plank i want you to hold your plank with your open hips knee hip and shoulder alignment and all you're going to do is push your elbow into the wall hold it there Breathing in, can we hold it for eight counts? Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. All righty, we're gonna hold it again for 16 counts. Let's wake up the muscles in our abdominals, our arms, our thighs, just by holding the position. There you go. You got this. Eight more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Way to hold it there. Now, we're gonna do a side plank. And that's simple. Step away from the wall or your tree or the surface you're pressing against. And you're gonna lean just a little bit with one arm. That one arm is working hard already. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. I'm saying this because I gotta do it too. Inhale and exhale. I'm holding the position. Good job. Awesome. We're gonna take it to the other side. Just a little bit of looking outdoors here. Bend the elbow. And breathing in, breathing out, waking up the triceps. What a great view I have here. Nothing gets better than this. Nothing gets better than this. Count down five and four, three, two, one. Awesome. You did a good job. Okay, let's get with the program on routines. Right now, our routine is gonna be in intervals again. When we talk about intervals, we're gonna push a hard strength base, and then we're gonna push a simple, you could call a high-low uh, cardio movement where your intensity of breathing is going to be higher and then it's going to be lower. So let's start with a squat. And again, what I need you to do is test your position. You're going to squat here, but feel the wall or the tree. Here's my tree. I'm literally trying to test my distance. There it is. Okay, so you're going to squat and tap. Squat and tap squat, tap. This is called squat rear leg extensions. Tap the wall. Good job. Squat, tap the wall. Good. Focus on you and your alignment. Way to train. Way to train. You got this. Breathing in and out. Squat and tap. Squat and tap. Squat and tap. Now, as you squat and tap, reach forward and reach forward. Oh my gosh, you got this going on? I do too. It's feeling really good. Squat and tap. Working on those legs, working on your balance, hand-eye coordination, looking for the wall, looking for the tree with my toes. Awesome. Squat and tap, squat and tap, squat and tap. This is good work here. Guess what? You can take a little lower, squat and tap. Squat and tap. Look for the wall. Squat, tap. Working hard, aren't we? Squat and tap. Breathing in and out. Reach low, tap high. Getting a little slower, but it doesn't mean we're not working any easier. Just requiring more major muscle groups, more focus, hand-eye coordination. Can we get four more? Squat and tap. Whew. Squat and tap. Two more, squat and tap, squat and tap. Whew, heart rate is high, keep walking in place. Inhale, exhale, so proud of you. I push you to many levels where you're doing easy intensity to a higher intensity. Way to work, a little recovery here. Now we're gonna do a tree plank, okay? On the tree plank, like we did earlier, you're gonna put your foot away from the tree hands are together and close reason is because we're going to do plank push-ups pushing your elbow down and up down and up and as you're doing this we're working muscles that are behind the arms okay they're called triceps bring it in and out so if you're using your wall spread your hands like me too and that way you get a better support system and not so much stress on your wrist Okay, so focus more on squeezing your arm muscles. Breathing out and in. Breathing out and in. Whew, let's get eight more. And seven. And six. Keep those elbows tucked in. Five. Four. I'm working. You're working. Three. And two. And one. Oh, we're not done. Widen your base. Hug that tree. Bring it out and in. Now this is wonderful. Now we're working the chest more, working the biceps more, breathing in and out, 
good. This tree is going to get us in shape here. Come on, give me eight more. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze the arm. Seven. Six. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Four more. Breathing out and get closer to the wall. Three. Get closer to the tree. Two. Don't back down. One more. One more. And push it up. Walking forward. Good job. Breathing in. Ooh. You can feel your guns already, huh? Let's see it. Feel those guns? Awesome. That's right. That's what you're building. Just better upper body, firm shoulders, firm arms. Okay, let's do it. Now we're going to do the simple cardio again, which is a squat and knee tuck. And all you're going to do again is make sure you have a sense of where your tree or your wall is. Okay, we're going to squat, knee tuck, back. Okay, knee tuck, back. Knee tuck, back. You can do it. Stay focused. Like a half squat and tuck. Half squat and tuck. So we're working real hard on putting our foot to the wall and actually gives a little security there. So as we're tucking and extending, we're feeling some balance work. And again, when you touch the wall, it gives you reinforcement to stay in this position and working your thigh muscles, your buttocks. Breathing out and in. Pull in and tuck. Pull in. Six more, come on. Woo! Five. You got this, four. And I'm looking forward because I'm giving my mindset a focus. Three more. Two. And one. Great. Woo, feel the burn on that leg. Good job, inhale high. Exhale out. Let's do the other leg. Again, find, uh, get a sense and find that wall or the tree that you feel like you can reach back. Okay, and our arms are here. You're gonna squat and tuck. Okay, so we're gonna knee tuck and extend. Knee tuck and extend. So I had to get my coordination there too. Pull in the knee and reach back. Squeezing that stabilizing leg squeeze. You might find again, one leg could be weaker or stronger. You can go slower or faster, but focus on the technique of tapping the tree, squeezing glutes for a full stand. Whew. You can do it. Come on, feel your foot working hard against the mat. Let's get eight more. Reach and tuck. Reach and tuck. Six. I know, don't give in to it. Come on, come on, work hard, work hard. Squeeze your glutes on this stabilizing leg. Three more, I'm focusing. Two more, one more, and lift. Way to work hard. Yes, we are building our body to be stronger, leaner, healthier, awesome. That's a good little break there. Now we're moving to our tree again. This time, we're gonna do a little uh, reverse. So what you wanna do is walk your tree or up your wall and you're gonna, you can decide to do a bent knee. Okay, let's do a few bent knee push-ups. You got it. Be determined. It can be a half push-up. Or you can go full extension, full plank, lift your hips. Good, and down and up. Doesn't take very much to get tired. <laughs> Come on, squeeze your arm muscles. Squeeze your chest. You got this. Come on, come on, come on. Make it work, make it work. Two more with me. Two more. You got one more. Stay with me. A little relaxation here. Pushing the downward dog, so to speak. Come here. We're not done yet. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Get six, five, and four. Three and two. Come on, come on, come on. Woo! Bring it down and walk it back. Push, push, push. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Yes, that's possible to do. It takes time to get there. If you were able to just hold the plank without push ups, you're still building the muscle groups that you want to get firm, okay? But in time, try it. Try one. And if you just fall to the ground, like, ah! Oh, 
that's okay. It's the effort that counts. And it takes a while to be able to carry that amount of reps in that position, okay? Wonderful. Now we're moving on to a high lunge with your tree or your wall, okay? And again, you're gonna find your tree. Here it is, okay? And then as you do this, make sure your knee's above hip. Once you find that tree, you got a sense of, um, of uh, coordination, balance, security. I'm gonna step a little forward because I want my knee to stay above my ankle as I'm doing the lunge, okay? All right, let's find some willpower. Let's find some spiritual strength to stay in this position for a bit. You got it, awesome. All right, put your hands to the side and raise those arms. Just a little something to keep us focused. Now, that's not to say that you couldn't do this without dumbbells, kettlebells, okay? You can do this with weight, but right now, the body weight's good enough, okay? You got eight more, and seven, and six, five, can you go deeper? Four, three, breathing out and in two, get one more in, down and up. Oh, we got it. I want you to inhale high. Whew. That is the best lunge I could ever do at this moment in time. Okay, so find your lunge and make sure you got enough um, length between the tree and your front leg so you can do a lunge carefully and safely. Knees above the ankle, down and up, down and up. Good. If your foot is against the wall, it's fine. I'm like have a gentle tap, um, a touch to the tree. I'm not putting weight into the tree too much. My weight is in my thighs and my buttocks. Come on, you can do it. Breathing out and in, that's okay. A little slip here. Oh, breathing out and in. Let's focus down and up, down and up. Squeezing your muscles in your legs. Make it happen for you. Whew. We are earning, you know, if you didn't eat yet, you're earning your meal for sure. Four more, ah, three more, push it high, two more. Awesome, awesome, don't quit, take it down and up. Good job. You're gonna take the inhale high and exhale low. How did you do? I hope you stay in it with me. Stay in it with me. It's not very long with the reps, okay? We're just trying to really, really get that overload so you can see a difference. Alrighty, moving on. You'll love this part. You can do it with your couch, with your tree, with your wall maybe on a, a park bench, okay? And what I'm saying is you can do the bridges. These are bridges. See how my feet is against the tree? So find it where you have a good flexion of the knee and the knees above the hip, okay? Alrighty, so first things first, you're gonna go ahead and do a bridge. Hands on the side and bring a lift and down. How high? Well, it depends on your flexibility, but try to push your hips open. And keep your knees shoulder width apart. Up and down and up and down. Breathing in and out. Good. Let's lift up and down and up. You might feel a sense like you're pushing away from your tree or your wall, but try to look focus more on lifting up and down than rather than pushing away from your wall or your tree. Keep it up. Inhale, lift. <sighs> Awesome, good job. Breathing out and in, can we get eight of them? And push a little quicker, and seven, and six, and five, four, and three, two, last one, and bring it down. Woo, you're gonna go ahead and rise. Okay, take a little break there. Now we're moving on to upper abs. I want you to just go ahead, push your, keep your heels here, hands behind your head, Whew. and you're going to curl up. Go ahead and curl up. Yes. Now, you might wanna stay here if this is good enough. Otherwise, lift the heels up, hips up just a bit. 
and now you got a good constant contraction in your abdominals Whew, it's like stabilization holding it with a flexion at the higher end of your abdominals this is getting the best best out of this tree thank you tree you're getting me in shape here come on let's get eight more keep the elbows flat seven and six and five four three two one Woo! take a breather hug your knees good job we'll take always take a little recovery especially with a movement like that and bring it out the other side for a cross over stretch elbows are high awesome we're not done yet we can make it work we can make it work this time we're gonna lift up on the bridge again and then right here we're gonna do in and out knees legs in and out in and out in and out breathing in and out so here we're focusing on inner outer thighs okay inner outer thighs keep the hips high keep the hips high come on try to struggle to keep the hips higher and higher wonderful breathing in and out breathing in and out breathing in and out eight and seven come on hips high hips high squeezing in squeezing out squeezing in squeezing out squeezing in squeezing out come on let's do it quicker eight fast eight and seven six get your hips high and four and three and two and one awesome good job bring your knees in we got the curls now actually elbows to the side and you're going to do what we call flexion of, of uh, side flexion meaning your elbows are going to go to the hips okay all righty here we go lift the shoulder blade off the mat and go side to side side to side you can put your hand on your rib cage and literally feel the contraction the contraction breathing out in it breathing out in it elbows to the side and you know it we're gonna try to lift those hips again oh my gosh yes now we're really building a better core <sighs> breathing side to side side to side <sighs> can we get a little more here come on just when it gets tough you stay in it stay in it with me come on what's another rip what's another rip come on come on eight counts and seven keep the elbows flat six and five come on tuck your hips up four and three two get it done get it done one and release Woo. relax bend the knees in you're gonna cross over a nice little uh, stretch here and then cross over other side Woo. can you stay with me we got just a few more things to do okay this one here is going to make you work hard because we're going to elevate a leg same thing with the bridge only you're going to put your leg to the side now if you have a wall your leg can be out here down here or bent we're going to lift up like this okay so i'm going to use the the open space on the side of the bridge i want to lift the hips and swing now if you want your hands here fine otherwise bring your arms higher that way you're using a lot more of your body to make the lift eight come on press your hips up seven push it high six and five and four three you can do it two and one yay all right other leg get in position hands low if you like to start there and lift the leg up come on swing that leg down and up down and up and again if you want to get your hands high just add more work in your core Ooh, pushing up bend the knee bend the knee Ooh. alrighty come on let's get eight and seven squeeze your glutes six I'm pushing away from my tree and five come on straight up Frida straight up four and three you can do it you can do it keep going keep going one more one more Whew. awesome awesome adding a little bit of ab work we can do this okay so reposition closer to the wall to your tree say a prayer 
Okay, and then we're gonna draw a rainbow with our hands. And as we do this again, we're focusing on contracting the abdominals, making a twist, good. And now we're gonna challenge ourselves with a little hip lift. Oh my gosh, yes, that's what matters, is we're digging deeper. Come on, dig deeper, breathe deeper. Come on, love deeper, I don't care. Just let's get deep here, come on. Eight more counts, eight and seven and six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. This tree is so beautiful. It's so strong. And all I can think about is I want to be strong like the tree. Okay, good job. Just one more set here. We got it. Reposition, get closer. So your knee has a good flexion. Hands on the side again. You can lift your hips up. Find that bridge again. Come on, I know you can do it. And we're gonna circle the hips. Rotate clockwise. And as you rotate, you're feeling hips work. Hamstrings move in different arenas of the legs. Good job. And all you gotta do is circle. Come on, make that circle. And lift up, and lift up. If you have to reposition to make sure you have the knee spent, go for it. Okay, stop, and then the other way, reverse. So you might have circled one way, circle the other way. You can do it. Breathing in and out, hips high, hips high, Woo. hips high, yes, hips high. Breathing out and in, four more, circle, three, push it around, and two, and one. Oh, yes, you got this, you're so awesome. Let's go ahead and take the to the side lift here. And believe it or not, we still got one more core to do. And that has to do with called push throughs. Your feet's gonna come up here. And then you're gonna push through, push through. Now if you're doing this, you're using abdominals to pull back and pull back. Tighten your abs, pull back. Your abdominals are squeezing, pulling back. Ooh, breathing out and in. Oh man, four more, three, tuck it in, two, this is it, this is it, push back, push back, and one, take the legs in, walk it back, and high, stand tall, breathing out and in, you're so awesome, you're so awesome to stay with me, finish with me, let's stretch out, go to your wall again, reach forward, we're going to go do a hip flexion and extend your arms. And as you're doing this, keep your ears by the side of your arms so you have a full shoulder stretch, abdominals tight. Okay, let one hand go and find a stretch here. Good. Now we're having a little rotation of your hips coming upward on the inside. Breathing out and in. Awesome. If you can, reach for the bottom of the tree. That is another stretch. Now it's making us have to really reach, really reach, stretch out hamstrings. Good job and release. Back to the top, fully extend, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. I know you're there. Switch your hands, take it down, get that stretch there. Take it lower if you'd like. Oh yes, feeling the latissimus dorsi stretch. This side of your rib cage. Breathing out in four more and three and two. One, reach for the tree, makes you have to push your way all right and makes the pelvic tilt away from the body, stretching our hamstrings. Come on, inhale, exhale, count down, four more. Three, two, one, walk up. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Awesome. And then turn the other way. We're gonna reach for the tree and uh, or your wall. And you're just gonna hold it there and try to stand straight. Just hold it and touch. Stand straight. Oh. Whew, this is good. Four more. Three, two, one, and release. Whew. Yes. Inhale high. Exhale up. Stand up by your wall again. Place one foot in front, the other, and see if you can get the top hand to touch the tree. You got it. Breathing out of it. Four more. Three more. Two, one, and release. I gotta turn around. So. Put one foot in front of the other, 
reach over and stretch it out. Count with me, eight, seven, six, five, reach high, four, three, two, one, and release. And I tell you, there's nothing better than being outdoors, using natural resources to get a good workout. I hope you had a wonderful time. Join me again.